hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm making a milk tart but i'm not making my usual cape malay milk tart um today i'm making a no bake one um please give this video a like i would really appreciate it um and you would be supporting my channel now in my bowl i've already crushed up about one and a half packets of tennis biscuits but only because my the tin that i'm going to be using is a bit bigger but if you are using a smaller tin um, you can use one packet or 200 grams of tennis biscuits or you can make your own biscuit base my Cape Malay milk tart has got a nice biscuit base um, that you can use if you don't want to use the tennis biscuits now to my biscuits I'm going to add 125 grams of melted butter but bear in mind if you are using 200 grams of biscuits or like one packet you would only be using 100 grams of melted butter so i'm just going to coat all my biscuits so once all your biscuits is coated in the butter um I'm I'm just transferring it to my, my dish. So now I'm just going to place it into the freezer while I make my filling. Now for my filling, to my pot I'm going to add a full tin of sweetened condensed milk. Um, and to my condensed milk, I'm going to add two and a half tins of milk. Now you're going to use your tin as your measuring cup. Um, and then I'm just going to place it on the heat, just to heat up my milk. Now this recipe you can do in the microwave, so at this point you can transfer to a microwave safe bowl and heat it in the microwave. So while my milk is heating up, in my bowl I'm going to add the extra, the extra half a can of the milk. So in total you will use three full cans of milk. So to my milk I'm going to add three tablespoons of corn flour and one tablespoon of custard powder. Now if you don't have custard powder you can just add four tablespoons of corn flour
I'm also going to add two whole eggs. Okay, so as you can see, my milk has heated up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a third of my milk um, and I'm just going to add it straight into my eggs just so that my eggs doesn't curdle in the pot. And I'm going to continue to stir until my mixture thickens up. And once it's thickened, I will remove it from the heat. So now as you can see, my mixture has thickened up. going to turn down my heat um, and I'm going to remove it from the stove and um, so now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla essence I'm also going to add about one and a half to two tablespoons of butter, um, which of course is optional. So I just removed my biscuit from the freezer. So now I'm just going to pour my filling straight on top. Um, and I'm just smoothing it out. Um, now at this point you can add a piece of clean, clean wrap um, just to stop a skin from forming. Uh, I'm just going to add my cinnamon straight on without the clean. But if you don't want the skin forming, then add the cream. So I'm just adding some cinnamon. Um, and then I'm going to place it in the fridge for a few hours, um, just until it's set.